brought to you by Toyota Prius. But Cass was calling me homeboy because I was calling them homeboy. And I always like the word homeboy because it's kind of like, it's your boy from your home. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 within the word is like a sense of like locality or relatability, you know what I mean? And then Sandman originated as uh, 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 really just bringing a dream. People ask me if my life changed. Here's what I might say. Not really. Not really. I'm born and raised in New York City. I'm, I'm from a community uh, in Queens called Elmhurst, Queens, which is a very diverse neighborhood and a very regular neighborhood. I wound up getting down with a program called Prep for Prep 9 when I was in junior high school. And this is a program, it's a great program, really changed my life, which goes into those inner city public schools and will look for kids that are showing particular academic you know, promise or potential and we'll look to help these kids and get them out of the city. I was able to go to the Holderness School, which is in Plymouth, New Hampshire, for high school, because of Prep for Prep. And that, that opened my mind, you know what I mean? I'm outside of New York, I'm with people that are not thinking the same way, looking the same way, acting the same way, dressing the same way, you know what I'm saying? Top villain at long last, I'll be chilling in first class. I was chilling in economy. That didn't bother me. So I knew hip hop and I knew Kane, I knew BDP, I knew what was up, Run DMC, but I wasn't like a huge fan. There were older guys that were talking about, you know, the street and, you know, they were talking about society. You know, Kane was talking about all the girls he got, LL Cool J was talking about all the girls he got. I was seven years old. I wasn't relating to it, you know? But when I got that Jazzy Jeff Fresh Prince tape talking about parents just don't understand, they take your school shopping for some corny get, you know what I mean? Uh, Nightmare on my street, you know, I just watched a Freddy movie. I wrote a rhyme about it, you know what I mean? I was like, yo, this is cool. My father's my greatest influence. My father's my hero. My father was, won the Golden Gloves, New York, heavyweight. He came from DR, and he didn't know what to do but fight. And he was 7-0 and pro, every, every win by knockout. And then he knocked this dude out in his seventh fight. 1987, I was seven years old, he knocked a kid out, and he looks around at all the cheering kids. He's like, these people are punks. The only cat in this whole spot that I probably would've been cool with, I just knocked his teeth out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it. I'm not beating people up for money. And my father retired from boxing right then and there. All right, my father got his GED, okay? Went to college for 10 years at Queens College. My father didn't know nothing about this country except when you come from Dominican Republic, everybody says, oh, America. All the successful so people are doctors and lawyers, doctors and lawyers, doctors and lawyers. My father says, I'm become a lawyer. Cass is like, Angel, you must have got hit too hard in your last fight or something like that. You are not becoming a lawyer. What are you talking about? My father now, he was graduating from law school around the same time I was going to high school, is now a community lawyer with his own practice in Corona, Queens, helps people, immigration, criminal, community-based dude, helping out, having fun, doing what he wants to do every day. And he went 15 years, he went to school, he had kids. He, he was like, he told me, you can do whatever you want, eh? You can do whatever you want. You ain't gotta be like nobody else. You ain't gotta do nothing else but what you want. And, and, and that, sticks, that's, that stuck with me, you know. On, that stuck with me to today, and that always sticks with me. I don't ever feel like there's something I can't do. My father went from being a pugilist to being an attorney, you know, and nobody would have thought he could have done it. <laughs> 